Hi, I'm Helge Klapper, Assistant Professor at RSM, and I'm one of the instructors at the SEMS International Management Program. Uh, do you want to tell me a bit about yourself? Yes, sure. My name is Rami. I come from Slovakia, and I'm here studying the International Management and SEMS program. Okay, perfect. I'm uh, Ben. I'm 19 years old, Polish-American, and I study International Business Administration. Okay, nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> I'm excited to hear a bit about the Masters today. Me too. So I think we have some questions here, and uh, we're going to go off one by one. So first question. Who is this master for? So can you answer this? Who is this master for? I think this master is for kind of anyone who knows that they, they like management and has a, wants an international career. Um, that's my idea for what it is, but maybe you could tell me a bit more specifically. I think that's a very good description indeed. Um, plus, it's also for highly ambitious students who don't know exactly what they would like to specialize in. So okay. if you want to get a broad range of knowledge in different areas, that's the right master to go for. Okay, okay. So if I don't know what I want to study, <laughs> By the end of my bachelor, I'm definitely going to choose have, this. And if you have high ambitions. And high ambitions, yeah, I forgot about that part. High ambitions as well. The masters, not only those for those students who do not know what they want to study, but rather also that aim for jobs that rather have a general approach. So if you think of a top manager, if you think you want to go into consultancy on research, this is a master that's ideally for you. So I'm definitely applying for this. <laughs> okay, next question. What is the teaching format? I think I'm going to pass this question directly to you because I have no clue what the teaching format is. Um, the teaching format, I mean, I guess it's similar to all the masters. It's also similar to your programs, I would say. So our whole cohort is like maximum 70 people, so it's very small. Oh, yeah, that is so super we get small. very individual um, yeah, individual approach, so you yeah. actually get to know everyone, you get to know your teachers, so it's very personalized. Oh, wow. And uh, the international, ma international, the Master in International Management is also, um, it's a combination of the practical side and the theoretical side. So we okay. also do, we combine the practice and theory, so you also have to do uh, internship, go for an exchange, etc. Oh, you do an ex when do you do the exchange? It's so short. It's like one and a half years. Yeah, so basically when you have time. one semester you spend here, then one semester you go for exchange, and then for two weeks you have to do, uh, I mean two months, you have to do the internship, and Whoa. then you come back and you write thesis, or you go abroad and you write thesis. That's packed. That's, is, that's a yeah. lot. <laughs> but that sounds pretty fun. The teaching format is, is very interactive. Because we have a very small size of between 30 to 50 students per um, course, is it's very interactive and we don't have a lot of lectures. It's much more on seminars, workshops, and students interacting with the teacher but also with each other. Okay, next question. Can I combine work with this program? Um, maybe, I think, from what you've told me so far, I don't think you can combine work at all, but I think that's why they give you this like opportunity for an internship. But yeah, can you combine work with it? Uh, personally, I'm not working, but I do know students who, who work. Okay. And so it is possible. It is also up to you how many courses you choose. And then if yeah. you choose less courses, you have more time for work. So it is a very challenging program, but you can find time to work as well if you would like. OK, in terms of courses, do you mean, is, it, is this like credit? So for example, you can just take extra classes and then you graduate with like a higher GPA or what does it change? Uh, basically there is an, a number of credits that you have to obtain to yeah. be able to graduate and it's up to you if you want to obtain many of them at the beginning or many of them towards the end. For example, okay. I'm now taking, I don't know, additional five ECTS just so that I can have less free, or I can have more free time during my exchange and then I can focus on other extra cur curriculars. So honestly, I wouldn't recommend taking any additional job while doing this master. If it's a minor thing, sure, right? So if you work as a research assistant at the university, that works well. But in general, this master is overall very demanding, not only because of the course, but there are so many other activities that you will do. Um, so I guess this is really a full-time master. Okay, we'll do the next question. Um, 
So the next question are, what are the career prospects? So I'm thinking <laughs> big business things like uh, CEOs, uh, found millionaires. No, I don't know. But I think definitely consulting mm -hmm. would be something that people could go into. Yeah, exactly. And um, if not, if you just like to work for a big corporation, I think management is pretty important in a corporation. So you could go yeah. work for like a conglomerate. Um, and then... I don't know, what else? Is there a lot of entrepreneurs as well? Uh, yes, so you are totally right. It's mostly, most of the students want to become consultants or right. work for very big companies. But there is also a part of students who prefer to become an entrepreneur themselves mm -hmm. afterwards. So you can take consultancy courses, uh, entrepreneurship courses. But basically the general idea of consulting is what most of the students aim for. So I think this master really prepares you for an international career. Whether this is management consulting for a global consulting agency or even for a local one or any job that really requires to have an international global perspective, this is the master for you. Or additionally, if you want to go into research, that's also a great opportunity to start because you get an overview of what's going on. A colleague of mine is now a professor at Stanford and he started his master here at RSM doing STEMS. Um, all right, we're almost done. This second to last question, what makes this master at RSM unique? Uh, I'll pass this to you because I don't know what the other courses are. Okay, that's a good call. Um, I think this master is unique in the sense of the approach. So you get very individual approach, as mm -hmm. I already told you. Um, you get to closely talk to your teachers. You get to know all the classmates. And I think that's very unique when you look at the other programs. So in addition to, I think, is a really cool and unique curriculum of courses from all around RSM, I think the really unique point are the students and the community. So once you're part of the SEMS community, you not only get to know your current students, but also the ones before them. And you will basically forge a bond with those students all across the globe. And that you cannot find almost anywhere else. Okay, let's do this one. It's a long one. Oh, yes. Ah. What does this program contribute to creating positive change? Ooh, the Erasmus <laughs> way. Positive change. Um, hmm. Well, I always think of like positive change in management. And I think, at least in my course, like a lot of it has to do with uh, how we bring forward like this sustainability approach. Mm -hmm. a lot of the times and making sure that like human relations and um, kind of like creating this global business atmosphere. I don't know if it's pushed further in your master or not. Uh, yes, I mean it's probably pushed to the same extent as your master's is, uh, yeah. your uh, bachelor's Bachelor, yeah. is. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean we do have sustainability courses. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's like, does it, do you feel like empowered a lot? with uh, your course in like creating kind of the freedom that you have to decide the, where you want to go? Maybe the positive change is that they try to look at us as the next leaders, as the yeah. future leaders and try to teach us in such a way as to be ethical and moral leaders and okay. that's that cool. way contribute to positive change. <laughs> yeah. All right, just in addition to what Romy said, there are certain courses that just directly focus on positive change. So for example, we have a global citizenship seminar, their, their role plays on climate change. But beyond that, I think most of the courses, if not all courses, have some part that really focuses on positive change, on sustainability. And just one small example from my course, we start the course by talking about chocolate that is slavery fleet and how that is really not the norm yet. Okay, I got my next board of questions here. So let's start off with the first big reveal. Do I have to find my own international internship? So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that you go internationally for your internship. I thought it was just in Rotterdam. How did you find your internship? Uh, or I think it's, do you have it already or is it later? No, I have to find it later. Okay, and how do you, how do you find it? Um, how do you find it? You have to find it yourself indeed. Um, the school or the SEMS network has many corporate partners. I think there are around 70. Uh, so throughout the year you have many events that you can participate at and you can meet the corporate partners so mm -hmm. last week we had an event with Maersk um, earlier this year we had an event with McKinsey 
nice. so you have good uh, good contacts you can yeah. build your network and then uh, if you are looking for the internship you can either contact one of the corporate partners yeah. that we have or you can also find um, any other internship that you would like so just as Romy said there are many points of contact with different firms and organizations that will give you the opportunity to find an internship okay next question So, is there any opportunity to specialize in a certain area? Um, maybe I'll say what I think. I think okay. that, so yeah, I, I'm not sure because I know that you guys are in your exchange and your mm -hmm. internship quite a bit. And mm -hmm. I assume that on an exchange, you get to, you have like uh, electives, you choose what courses you want to take. Mm -hmm. And then internship, yeah, you do whatever internship you want to do. So, in that small period that you have here, I mm -hmm. think that you, everyone would take the same course. Um, the same classes, but am I wrong? Uh, yeah, you are wrong. <laughs> oh. We do have some courses that are compulsory that everyone has to take. Yeah. Uh, for example, for me this year, I had to choose if I want to have international strategy or international entrepreneurship. So you have to take okay. one of these courses. Uh, then you have to take one course of hard skills that is worth at least five ECTS. Okay. So there are requirements uh, like this. But other than that, you can choose what you want to specialize in. So if you like uh, supply chain, then you choose courses that relate to supply chain. If you like finance, you choose yeah. courses that relate to finance. So you can find your own specialization. And then if yeah. you go for the exchange, there are still some courses that you have to take. For example, for me, I will have to do a business project uh, next year, and everyone has to do this. Uh, we will have to take the global leadership or global citizenship seminar as well. But other than that, you can choose the rest of the courses. So you shave your way. Whoa, that's a lot of flexibility there. That's super yeah, cool. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. I mean, one of the main targets of this master is to give students an overall overview of what's going on in management. So you get courses from all different kinds of departments from RSM. At the same time, you do have some options to, to specialize. Um, what you want to focus on in terms of what courses you choose, but for example, you can also choose what kind of master th topic you, you want to focus on and thereby go into a specialization that is, for example, very unique. Okay, <laughs> next question I have for you is, how international is the program? So, judging that two of us, I mean, I'm not in your course, but knowing that you're from Slovakia, I think that it's quite international. Is it international? Yes, the program is very international. I would be lying if I tell you the exact nationalities that are present in my cohort. Uh, yeah, I'm not a sure. Lot. But there are a lot, yes. A lot. And also, um, SEMS is an uh, internationally recognized certificate, so that consists of different schools around the world. And when we do the exchange, we go to another same school in another country. Okay. So that makes it even more international. Plus, you must go for that exchange yeah. and you must do internship abroad. Yeah. So it is very international, yeah. Cool. <laughs> but right now, are you, do you have any exchange students in your course? Or do yes. you guys, oh, you do right now in yes, this period yes, as well? Yes, we do. So okay. actually, some students start with the exchange at first. Yeah. So you don't. For me, I started uh, at my home school, so here at RSM, but yeah. some other students started somewhere else. I have another friend who started the program who is my classmate, but she started in Canada, for example. Okay, that's really cool. That's yeah. Everyone's global. <laughs> so yeah, the master is pretty international. Courses are focused on international management, global management. Students are extremely international. We have more than dozens of nationalities from all across the globe. We have incoming exchange students from the SEMS program that also come from anywhere in the world. And then we do have the exchange program where students go so to some other place in the world. So I think from the beginning to an end, this is as international as it gets. It's a good answer. Okay. Um, boom. Can I choose where I want to spend my exchange semester? So I think we talked about that a bit already, but... Uh, yes, a bit. you can, right? Uh, you can choose. Uh, it's usually when you apply. So, for example, I applied for this program last January. Now it is uh, almost December. Yeah. And when I applied, part of my application was to choose ten of the same schools that I would like to go to, uh, in order in which I prioritize them. So, 
I chose Prague the, to be the first one, and then I chose nine other schools, uh, whatever I wanted. And then based on your grades, based on the interview, based on the selection, you are assigned one of these destinations okay. going from top. <laughs> and you got your first choice. Yes. Wicked. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Just to add to Romy's point, students cannot choose where to go, but they can basically mention their preference. And overall, at least that's my experience, the majority of students actually get the place where they want to be, or at least one of their top choices. Okay, the last question. Yay! It's a short one. What does the SEMS club do? Did I say it correctly, SEMS? Yes, correct. So what yes. does the SEMS club do? I don't know. I have no clue. That's a good question. <laughs> um, there are different committees in the SEMS club. We have a social committee, we have alumni committee, we have corporate committees, so social responsibility committee, etc. And all of us students can apply to be part of one of these committees. And then you are part of the bigger SEMS club. Uh, each committee has different events that they have to organize. For example, the social committee, they organize social events for all of us. Like this week we have a gala, like end Ooh. of semester gala, that the social committee organized and we all will go there and yeah, instead of the dinner we will spend lunch together. So cool. <laughs> oh yeah, with the, the new COVID regulations. Yes, exactly. Um, so this is an example of what the social committee does. Then we have corporate um, committee as well. They organize event with the companies. For example, last week we had the event with Maersk cool. that they organized. Uh, then there is alumni committee this weekend. Yeah, last weekend. A uh, couple of students, well, the organization team as well as other students went to Paris to meet other alumni. So that was another event. So that's briefly what they do. There. So they do a lot. It yes, seems. Yes, a lot of activities. Awesome. I think that sums up. You answered all my questions. Thank you so Perfect. much. Perfect. You did well as well. I'm <laughs> looking forward definitely to maybe applying for a SEMS master. I'm so happy to have inspired Thanks for you. telling me about, me, about it. <laughs> so I hope you have a good impression idea what this SEMS International Management Master is about. And I hope to see you all soon in Rotterdam.